Uh, what do you think? We're going to try. We're going to try some phone calls. I guess the only screening thing we want is that you are actually looking at the show call from that point. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just for a few minutes until the time for us. Julie Cooper and General Mayhem in the studio at this time. What do you think, Chris? Okay. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing? Okay, we want to talk about gays in the military. What's your opinion? Um, they, they can't handle guns. They'll shoot each other. <laughs> they're, they're too gay. They, they're fairies. Send them to Disneyland. I, I think it's an unenlightened call, but we appreciate that at least you want to call them around. And thank you. Hello. Hi. Yes. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I think this, if I may say, first of all, that if, if you have to be on one side mm -hmm. or the other of this issue, it's kind of a shitty thing because... Who wants to be, like, involved with the military anyway? <laughs> That's true. So, being that that is the case, and you got to be on one side or the other, where do you stand? I think there's another issue, too. <laughs> wait, wait, let's back up. First, let's go over the first part. Well, no, it's, it's about going and fight for us. It's well worth it. If they can't, if they can't kill them, let them fuck them. Uh, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. It's now time... For Tully Cooperberg. Yeah, well, I'm going to continue in the same. Uh, can we focus in on this, especially the uh, the little uh, doggerel poem here? Can we get that? Yeah, it's There's not no only. It, in the world. It's not only. In, well, then Coco will have to read it. Oh no! Oh uh, yeah, we're getting it. I think. Uh, it's not only in the army that this thing's come comes up. Uh, homeless. Here's a. Uh, uh, <coughs> New York Times headline, Homosexuals Press Fight on Right to Be CIA Agents. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, here's a, a black man who's going to be on the uh, on a space shuttle. Uh, that's, that whole space shuttle is mostly a military project, you know. Um, Latinos, actually I think the headline called them... Uh, Hispanics, that's a more official term, but I think they call themselves Latinos, sued the government because they weren't being promoted in the FBI. These are all oppressive uh, and repressive institutions. What are minority peoples who are oppressed all over uh, doing, uh, joining these institutions? Uh, did we read the poem? No. They did. What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone can see that at home. Why don't you read it out loud? Oh, yeah, read it. Read it Why don't you read it? Okay. Dear brothers and sisters of color or sex, I'll fight for your right to a life of respect. I might even allow for your power and pelf if you want to kill you. Two. Well, if, you, if want you want to kill, kill two, two, well, well go I'll fuck, fuck yourself. yourself. It rhymes with pelf. Yeah, it rhymes with pelf. Pelf. Here are a few more. Uh, <laughs> here's an army. Uh, here's an army uh, recruiting. Uh, Have I lost my mind? Uh, army, kill all you can kill. Is that the slogan? No. Oh, that's something like that. That's what it is. Here they're very concerned about the troops. They want. They don't want fat troops. They're, they want them to be healthy. And the slogan is kill in good health. <laughs> and here's when Colin Powell got his. Uh, appointment, the U.S. War Department. It used to be called the War Department. At least they were honest then. Or if they want to use a more elegant word, they should use a fence department. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> there hasn't been a troop, uh, there hasn't been a foreign soldier on American soil for 150 years. Yeah. U.S. War Department is an equal opportunity destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where's the peace dividend that we were supposed to get. Uh, there's still... I got yours. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I did? I don't wonder what she means. <laughs> the, uh, the U.S. budget is still 60% uh, for uh, defense, uh, according to the War Resistance League and other well, things. They tell you 30%, but they lie. You know, figures don't lie, but liars figure. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, in addition to the armed forces, there's uh, 
atomic weapons they're still making and developing new we uh, weapons uh, uh, atomic weapons the uh, one of the, the last shuttle missions was a war mission was a, a war department mission the CIA is is still functioning that's not a considered defense the uh, they're still doing research and development uh, they're still giving veterans benefits. I think they should still get those because they owe them. But they've injured a lot of people we have to take care of. And the interest on the debt, they don't figure that. And so 60% of all your, of their debt, you know, uh, they say there's this, we owe this huge uh, national debt. Who's this we, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, who do we owe it to? Who do they owe it to? To defense contractors? <laughs> to uh, bondholders, rich people, and bankers. Banks. Forget it. The, 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 when the Tsarist government is still waiting to, the people who bought those bonds are still waiting to be paid uh, those bonds. They're going to pay them probably soon. Yeah. So anyway, I think we should, uh, I mean, what's next? If we want equality and all the, are, are we supposed to uh, uh, opt for having a, a, a black woman uh, lesbian become hangwoman of Texas? Is that something you want to <laughs> work for, you know? You want equal opportunity to be a... To be a, uh, to be uh, a uh, who has AIDS? Yeah, who has AIDS? So I think we should, you know, it's, it, for us as radicals or progressives or smart people, you know, we should... It's an issue that uh, isn't worth our energy. We should try to get everybody out of... If we would dissolve the armed forces right now, we have no enemies. We could use all of that money. We could we could solve the housing problem. Well, why don't we be, call? There'd be less trouble in the inner cities. We could I'm give sorry. money to Russia and to all over the world. There's, there's like three hundred billion dollars a year wasted. Four hundred billion, five hundred, six hundred billion a year waste. And that's my opinion. All right. All right. Tuli Kovarik. Thank you, darling. You know,